87 Legends at California Speedway, now known as Auto Club Speedway. Um, not a strong field at all. In fact, we only got seven guys here. Um, I didn't really get to do uh, too many practice laps ahead of time because uh, I just barely made it on time. I just finished up a dirt road race and only had a couple minutes. But I really didn't want to miss this one. Um, it's already late at night, and that's why there's so uh, few participants. That on top of the fact that uh, there are, or it's the end of the week, so a lot of people have already done their races, probably gotten their fill, and uh, so now we've got seven seven cars out here. My uh, connection right now is very very bad. I uh, <laughs> I've got like four minutes left on an upload and I didn't want to cancel it but I also didn't want to miss this race so I'm being a little selfish here and I'm gonna start the race anyway with the probably blinking um, but I'm gonna stay all the way away from everyone else until it gets sorted out um, which fits into my plan pretty well anyway because I'm going to be I don't know what they're waiting for I'm going to be uh, Saving tires. One left to green. Um, Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. Catch up. Three. Oh yeah, these uh, legends cars seem to burn away the tires to begin with, and this is also a pretty bumpy old track. And so, um, on a, such a small field, we might end up going a lot of laps without a wreck. And uh, I'm gonna make sure that I can get to the end. I think you have to do one pit stop, if I'm not mistaken. Um, shoot, I think I forgot to turn on my crew chief. That's fine. Um, yeah, you gotta do a pit stop probably to change tires. That's usually how the series goes, because they burn off so much you end up uh, ending ending up... you end up at zero percent and they blow out and then uh, you're in the back, so... Not sure why those guys are all that way back behind. I would prefer to be behind them. I'm genuinely trying to give them About to go green. Stay all the focused. space in the world. So I guess he's trying to get a run. I don't know what they're job. thinking. But I'm gonna purposely be in the back until my uh, situation with the connection gets figured out. Car outside. Hope no one's too mad at me for doing Outside, that. Clear. But uh, I'm gonna give all the space in the world until I see that red go away on the top right in the L bar. That's uh, latency or whatever. So <sighs> we'll see what happens here if they they start wrecking or if uh, we're gonna have a clean race. I don't know. Got my brake bias back so I can, uh, so I can turn the car a little better. Sorry, I thought I was going to be the one taking it super soft, but uh, this guy's back here too. Should only be another minute or two before the red goes away. I really like to do pretty well in this race though, because if I don't, as the number two car in a very small, Outside. slow field, then uh, my I rating is going to plummet. It's going to go into the crater. And uh, we don't want another street Stay stocks low. of Bristol situation, or do we? I lost about a hundred I rating from that debacle. So, um, I guess he's trying to go softer than I am. Maybe I'm not going as soft as I think I am. I don't know. I probably wish I could have done a little more practice, but. Maybe I'm just blinking that badly. I would hope that uh, if I was blinking that badly to where I'm like causing a problem, they would speak up and then, you know, I'd say goodbye probably <laughs> and just completely pull off because I don't want to ruin anyone's race for sure. Um, I'll take a look at our uh, lap times. Try to get a little consistent. I want to keep up a little bit more than this. Bring it to the bottom, I think that's gonna 
Help the tires a little bit. The rears burn off. No big deal. The looser the car, the better, in my opinion. But uh, if you get that right front all worn out, then you just can't turn anymore. That's uh, that's no good. That's not a good thing. So take it easy. Try to be consistent. Hey, look, our L bar is better. All right, uploads complete. So don't have to worry about that anymore. Now we'll just worry about what on earth you gotta do to have a good run. Yeah, let's get that apron a little bit. Get the car turning. That might help it a little bit. They look like they're racing pretty clean, so feeling pretty good about the tire saving strategy. Will it work out for me in the end? I don't know. Hard to say without having done more practice. Definitely should have. I definitely would normally do more practice. I like to try to get a full 30 minutes of practice before every race, you know, as soon as a session opens. Uh, to register, I like to jump into that uh, practice lobby, get uh, the most out of the practice session I'm given. That's what I'll typically do. Um, just in this case, uh, I didn't have time. So keeping the wheels straight, straight as I can, using the brake to turn. Uh, maybe we'll get some strategy in this series. Maybe we'll see, you know. I've, uh, I've enjoyed what they've done with the 87 car this season. Making you have to pit because it's a longer race and everything. Um, love to have a, a little bit of strategy in a race, you know. Deciding when to pit, pit you know, for fuel or tires. Break a little bit, cut down. I love to get in some situations where you're like, oh, do I pit, do I not pit, and then see how it works out. I love that stuff. I would like to do some more uh, open races. I don't know a darn thing <laughs> about setting up a car, but I do really enjoy when you have to think about your strategy a little bit. So, maybe I'll uh, start using some free setups that I find. I know, uh, OSR, old school racing forums or whatever. They've got some good free setups on there that uh, I've been able to do well with in the past. So, you know, nab a setup from there and uh, see what I can do with it. Now, uh, now this week's not going to be it because this week all those open races and the trucks and Xfinity Cup, they're all at Daytona. And I'll be, I'm good on that one. I barely want to do the regular fixed races that are shorter. It sounds like the worst thing in the world to get 50 laps into a Daytona race and get wrecked out after all that. It just sounds like a not fun time. So maybe I'll do it next week, depending on where they are. I think, where are they next week? I think, yeah, get that thing turning. Uh, I think they're at, where did they say, hmm, Darlington, Darlington, are they Darlington, they might be at Darlington, at least the cup guys are, um, I think I remember hearing that on TV, <laughs> well, you know, the stream I watch of the TV, don't tell them, the FBI, <laughs> but, um, that's interesting. Maybe not Darlington either. I don't know. Darlington's a, that's a scary one on iRacing. We'll, we'll see. Uh, if it's not apparent by all the different things I run on this channel, I like to vary it up. I like to do a lot of different things. Um, just came from a dirt road race. Before that, I did some street stocks, both on dirt and uh, paved. Uh, now we're back in 1987 driving this thing on a track that didn't exist until 1996. Somehow, get some time.
time traveling going on. <laughs> if we're whatever's going on here. That's a pretty fun thing about iRacing is uh, you know, a lot of these tracks that are on here, they don't exist anymore. You know, Auto Club's not gonna exist in a minute here because they're turning it into a short track. And uh, you got tracks like USA, they don't exist anymore, they got uh, demolished, but uh, they'll be able to live on on iRacing, so that's pretty cool. And then of course, you know, you got these old cars that don't race anymore, and never will again because they are absolute death traps. Um, this guy in front of me, uh, I've caught them, I assume they've burned their tires off, so I'll make my way around. Hopefully they go easy on me because I see I've caught them on these on ye old tires. Mm -hmm. They're breaking a lot more because they're having struggle turning, I guess. So get the run off here. Oh man, I swear cars blink at just the worst time. Like, oh, trying to get a run off the corner to pass him. What if he was teleporting? Would that make it easier or harder? That's what iRacing asks me. Get the brake, get it rotating. Make the pass, hit the gas. Well in front, he's gonna cross me over because reasons. Hmm, I caught you from way back, so I don't know why you feel the need to do that. But I guess we'll just make each other slower, I know. Burn off some tire on the high lane here. Clear. How'd that work out for you? Not so much. So we got the run. Pull away from him so we can't cross over anymore. You're in fifth. You're in fifth. Fifth's not gonna cut it though. Not when I'm ranked number two. So we've got future on the in front of us. That's fun. Make our way past him in a minute. Draft. Since we seem to be uh, saving our tires a little bit better, we'll probably try to run a little longer than the guy, than other guys. Get the apron a little bit to get it turning. He's he's uh he's keeping the pace a little bit. I don't think he wants me to pass him. side with them and start taking a suboptimal line and you know it's causing problems for both of us so we'll do this that looked like he was trying to make it easier on me maybe or maybe he wants to a higher line I could just like gun it and pass him but also trying to save time here. Clear up top. Uh, we'll do that. See if he decides to cross over. We'll see about that. But it looks like we got some distance, so. Back to uh, taking our little low line here. Get that lap time up. We can pull away now that I don't have to find a way around the guys. We'll be able to uh, catch my draft a little bit. Um, hmm. Fuel. Probably okay on fuel. I wish I'd remembered to turn my crew chief on. That thing that tells me, you know, oh, you got. Uh, you're gonna need to fuel up this much before the end of the race to make it. All that. I thought I had it on. I don't know why it would be off. But uh, clearly is it's not responding to my inputs. So, oh well. I like to use that because uh, I'm not great at doing mental math in the first place. I don't need to be doing it in a 180 mile an hour death trap. You know, there's a reason real drivers have crew chiefs for all that. 
It's a bit unfortunate that these guys are ahead of me. They're in each other's draft, making each other faster, and I don't have that benefit. Um, I don't have a guy to follow to get some speed, so I'm going to have to uh, catch up on my own. Yeah, get some new brand. Still not feeling any uh, issue with tires or whatever. I think I'm doing an alright job of that. I think I'll start looking at uh, those times and start thinking about how I should be taking these laps to see if I can catch them. I'm not sure uh, how my times are comparing. It's a curved straightaway, so maybe save some time for doing that. Oh, I took that a little too hard. I'm a little different there. It was a marginally faster, but it was much harder on the tires, so I don't want to do that. This guy's coming back. Maybe I didn't take the right approach. Maybe this isn't going to turn out well for me. Is he going to try to pass me again, or is he going to work with me to catch these guys? Nope. We're racing for fourth, I guess. Stay high to the car on the low side. Well, if he gets past me here, then I'm just going to follow him and we can draft so we can maybe catch these guys. Clear. Alright, well, he's going to fall back because he got out of the run. I like that high line a little bit, actually. Maybe we'll do a little bit more of that. It's probably been on the tires, though. Debating. <sighs> well, we gotta start catching them at some point, and we're gonna be getting tires, so maybe I should be pushing it. If I had some practice, I would know how to run this. But, I did not have practice, so I do not know how to run this. We'll start going, see if uh, my tires fall off and I regret everything. Kick the throttle a little bit, get it to get some help turning. This high side feels pretty good. Catching the guys despite their uh, draft. Not so sure I like uh, going down the apron for cutting there because. Feels like it gets unsettled too much. Don't like the way that feels. But just go catch up to him. What that? Just keep setting a, you know, a little bit better of a lap each uh, each time. Check out that last lap and make sure that each one's a little bit better. That'll be the play for that. Easier said than done, apparently, because I'm falling off from the last lap. Seems like you want to do like a third lane, maybe somewhere in there. I'm not quite sure. This is the stuff I would normally want to find out before the race. Huh, so uh, it's almost like uh, one and two, you want to take that high line, maybe? Right here, maybe you want to take the uh, lower line? We'll see. Still catching though, despite this plus uh, 14 we got going on for this lap. Once we start sniffing their draft, then we'll uh, be feeling a lot better. No cautions, not enough people, I guess, to run into each other. What did we say? We said, uh, oh, we said the high line was probably best here. I need to pay attention to what I'm saying, what I'm figuring out. I'm doing research and then just throwing it into the trash. Better in the last lap at least. Should be uh, getting a little uh, 
tiny bit of that draft at this point. I think uh, that break bias I did is going to help too. I did uh, pull the break bias back pretty good. Don't do that, please. <sighs> Flashbacks to my most recent street stock race at Bristol. Guys wrecking in front of me and me having nowhere to go. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Alright, turn. There we go. Should get a great run here. Let's see if it was enough to offset my poor entry into the corner there. Very long straights, given that it's a uh, two mile track. So, exit of the corner is very important, obviously. Straddling that seam there. Seems pretty good. That guy fell up hard. Whatever that was, that was uh, that we passed. You know, I don't know, maybe that damage hurt him a little bit or something. But uh, he's having a rough time all of a sudden. He might have a nearly blown tire or something. The yellow flag oh, is out. Are you kidding me? Right We've well, eventually come and taken the lead. Unfortunate. So we'll be fine on fuel and fuel. You can see 31 estimated laps. That would put us at 56. And that's not even counting these pace laps we're about to do, which will save us more. So we're not going to need any fuel. But we will need tires. So. Um, we'll take those, make sure we catch up to these guys so they're not getting any sort of head start on changing their tires. <clears throat> oh, there's the pace, uh, the pace car. Just roll on up. Glad I remembered to take the driving lane off. It looks so ugly in here. At least forget to uh, turn it off, even though I don't use it. And then I just look like a look like a bozo with my driving line on. <laughs> I'm used to just ignoring it. I think I talk about this in every race. I should probably give it a rest. But no question here. You gotta come pit. If you do not, if you do not pit, you will be passed like you're standing still. <coughs> Excuse me, a bit of a hiccup. Um, another cool thing that the crew chief thing that I use does is it'll count down my box for me, so it's make sure I don't miss my my spot. Don't have that luxury here. It's gonna be tough to stop, so let's get it stopped. I hear people talk about uh, taking right sides only, but I think we want to do all of them. I think it depends on the track when people employ that strategy. And going. Looks like we might have gained a spot. That guy is loopy if he thinks he's gonna. If it's a good. That is a good play to uh, not take tires. I assume that's what that guy did from fourth. I mean, you can see uh, the percentages on our tires here in a sec. I'll show them to you. 46 67. And you saw how soft or how easy I was going. So, uh. Yeah, we're gonna just walk on by that guy. I guess he's hoping that, you know, there will be some more cautions and he'll need that other set of tires because you have a limited amount. We get two extra sets in addition to the ones we start on. So, you know, maybe he's hoping there's a couple more wrecks and uh, he can pull a rabbit out of a hat <laughs> or, you know, pull some great. fresh tires out of a hat. And uh, take him, steal a win away later. I just don't see that happening, given 
how few people are in this race and uh, the fact that we've had one caution so far so you know what if he feels like he needs to try something crazy to get the win you know that's what he's gonna do I wouldn't do it but more power to him it's like a second gear start Thankfully, that was a pretty quick pace cycle. I guess uh, it's easier to pass the time when you were doing pit stops. I'm hoping these guys behind me don't try to pull a cheap one and hang back and pass. That's against uh, sporting code on iRacing because you can technically game, game the system and do that. It's one of those things where we don't have you know, live people watching what's happening. We've got automated systems to police that sort of thing, and so it's, you know, got people jumping the starts and stuff. You don't see it too often, but people will try it sometimes, and, and it is what it is, I guess. Um, I think the play again, because we're only about halfway through the race, is going to be green. to uh, like still save some tires. Probably overdid it a little bit. Be ready. First go around. Green, green, green. But, uh. You know. I think we were in a good position. Is this guy going on my outside? What's he doing? Car inside. Pass me. Right. Still there at the bottom. Clear. This guy's doing. I don't know what Why you gotta <laughs> make a crazy move? on the first corner. All right. <clears throat> Wants to take advantage of the uh, new tires, I guess. And I'm going to take care of new tires. That's what I'm gonna do. This time, maybe try to stay in some draft. I think that's the way I'm gonna go about this. So put the, uh, the brake bias I put in to the test. Oh, a little hard there by accident. Didn't hit the brake quite enough. So. Hmm. A little weird. Put the brake bias to the test and hopefully make some time. Always the greatest saving tires. It's one thing I've been really uh, aware of. Something I've really been trying to get better at. Um, I've been doing my best to learn what it takes to wear the tires in a more efficient way, in a way that benefits the long run better. Because I can really change uh, how your race goes. Uh, that guy that didn't take the tires, he seems okay. Maybe I'm missing something here. And he just pit or something. I don't know what that was all about. Or maybe it's not as important as I think. Maybe I'm just talking out of my butt. And I don't know what's happening. It's more likely than you think. to 50 um, you know back in these days you didn't get green white checkers so we won't be uh, expecting that it'll end under caution if we start getting that because we also don't race uh, back to the line on yellows which I also understand because in online racing that sounds like a circus it sounds like an absolute circus so I understand we don't do that but it also means that um, you, know, you get that unfortunate situation sometimes where the yellow flag comes out and race is over. So, that's what that is. I'm not feeling too great about my approach here, I'll be honest. Um, I'm feeling like I'm kind of in a no man's land of 
saving tires and also keeping up, which is just going to mean my tire advantage is not going to be great, and I'm also not going to be up front, kind of like 50% on both. Not sure. Maybe I'll uh, be a little more careful with the tires. So I'm thinking about my angles a little bit better. Maybe I'll shift it a little bit in that way. Maybe that uh, three car. Maybe he did pay it and just take those right sides and it's working out for him. Well, that's what happened. I'll, I'll, well, if I remember, I'll take a look at it. Figure out what happened there. Um, I imagine if I finish where I am right now, even though it says I'm supposed to finish second, because it's probably such a low strength of field, it's probably not what I want, really want. I'll probably lose I rating even if I finish in the top five, given that there were only seven participants, and I think I saw a minute ago one of them uh, disconnected by accident. Looked like they lost connection, so. We won't finish last, it seems like, at least. But uh, ideally, we're not going to finish anywhere near last. I'm starting to feel a little bit better about uh, how I'm going about this right now. I'm trying to take a line that'll be. Um, a little better for me. I'm doing this enter high thing, let the brakes turn me. That's where you save tires a lot, is whenever you turn by hitting the brakes instead of by turning the wheel. That'll be good for your long term gains. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Probably uh, figured out how I was going to go about it a little late. Enter too high there. I'll be able to cut down though and get the wheel pretty straight. Looks like we're catching these guys a little bit. Like I said, I wanted to kind of keep the draft a little bit here because that's going to get me some time every time I'm uh, every time I'm in the straightaways. I feel like the they're uh, burning off their right sides a little bit more by running that high line. That's what I'm banking on here. It seems like most of the time whenever you're running a higher line, you're burning the tires more. So, taking this cut down kind of thing, I'm thinking I'll have a little bit more success as we go on. Still waiting for that three car to fall off at some point. I know he's pretty good. I've raced with him before. I know he's pretty good at keeping up front. So maybe he's just got that talent. I know he's in these races a lot, so he's probably got things figured out. Maybe I should have just been watching what he's doing. Almost feels like uh, I'm getting loose on entry, which, yes, please. Wouldn't be too upset if the Futurama car won the race. I like that show. On my car, I've got uh, <laughs> I've got like a Charmin scheme, like an old school like. It's got like the old logo and everything from around this era ish. It's kind of fun. You get a lot of fun schemes, uh, scheme possibilities because we got these old retro cars and you can get old like logos and things on there to kind of fit into the mood. So you see some fun throwback schemes a lot in this series. About 11 to go. Hmm. Not feeling too bad about how I'm going about it here. Uh, I had to turn the wheel a little bit more than I wanted there. 
there, so I don't know to keep it more straight and go out to the corner, but he was kind of on the high side there. Planning that, that's kind of what happened. Now I'm sure I'm on the low lane, so that's not to keep right. This good way. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. I don't really want to be Stay side low. by side. It's kind of just, I just ended up faster than him. Still there, hold your line. Take the corner a little harder. Clear. And slide up so that way I can get the high line coming out. He'll cross over me. Inside. But I will be able to pull away coming Stay up here. Because I know that I can take the high line pretty well. If I so choose. Keep high. I was try a slider or something. Ooh. Oh no! I got more tight than I expected. I had to lift. I was paying more attention to where he was than I was taking the corner. I didn't save the tires just as much this time, so that's uh, hurt me a little bit. Man, he's right on my door. I didn't expect him to take this line. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. He kind of takes a somewhat high line. Clearing Take it dark. higher so we get a better run. Make the pass. Hope we don't have to see him again. Uh, no offense to him, but I just don't want to. I don't want to be burning off more tire than I need. Tire, tire, tire. That's all I talk about, but that's what the biggest key to this race is. I see smoke. I don't know why I see smoke, but I see smoke. I guess I got a. Uh, threw in the towel. I guess he must have been. Back, back in the back. Um, do we start going? Yeah, let's start having some fun. Let's do fun things. Let's uh, take this high line. Maybe start using the tire a little bit because we're getting closer to the end. Don't think I took the best approach, but uh, I think we got a lock on podium. That's cool. I wish I'd saved a little better. Well, whatever that three card did, I think it's going to work. Maybe you did want to do right side tires, even though the left sides do get kind of burnt. Because it'll just make you looser. And that's just straight up a good thing. Maybe that's what's going on there. Who knows? Other than that guy. So it looks like these guys are just... I got it done. Let me try this low line again, see if it works for me. Not really, you don't get the runoff. Make some gains in the corner, but look at it drop now. By the time you get over here, you kind of just lost everything you you did, so. Get a turn. If I had a little more practice, I might try running another lane higher. But uh, I don't want to be throwing it all on the line, you know, by putting my car at the top without having practiced it very much. So I guess third place. Um, not too bad. Five, five to go. Of course it's not over yet, but it doesn't seem like much is going to be changing. I think I just have to turn the wheel too much and it's, it just kills whatever run I would have had anyway. I'm essentially doing what I would normally do in practice right now. Kind of try out some things and see what goes on. The tire is uh, sad. <laughs> so I'm heading up toward the wall when I try to make it through the corner. Not too exciting of a race. And do I want to 
post it. Maybe if I uh, don't do a race for a while, throw this one out there or something. I don't know. Not really much to see here. Just talking to myself about tires for an hour. guys are uh, not ready to battle for the lead it looks like maybe we'll take each other out then I can post it spoiler maybe I don't know recorded live in front of a studio audience so I don't know what's gonna happen here You've got two left to go. Got some dramatic irony going on for the audience get on that scene it'll help it turn but oh well probably just want to go ahead and take that low line it's probably what's gonna work best for me at this point help me stay out of the wall not a huge fan of how this car is driving here would always prefer having to fight the car loose or something than have to, you know, go slow and save the tires and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's just not even turning anymore. I'm probably about to blow them, to be real with you. <sighs> but it's the last lap, so it doesn't matter unless I get the meatball flag. The flag that they show whenever you got too much damage. If you blow a tire, that'll appear. That would just be a gut punch if it just showed up on turn four or something. <laughs> Man, the guy spent? Is that what I'm seeing up there? Man, I'm not going to get there in time, though. Low car up high. Oh, Go okay. I'm going to get there in time. Um, well, that was kind of dramatic, I guess. For the win. Great did job. You did really well. What happened to that guy? What happened to him? His tire blew. It's exactly what I was just talking about. He got the meatball flag at the very end. Oh my god. So because of that, he got a penalty. And so I have finished second. What a turn of events. Hello, YouTube. I am now uploading this because that's a pretty big M. Night Shyamalan twist at the end. Holy smokes. All right, well, I got second. Wow. This guy's muted. I've had him muted for like a week. So I don't know what they're saying, but it's probably like, oh my God, I can't believe it. How did the last turn? Yeah, so they're gone now though. Wow, how about that? After all that nonsense, we got second place. Starting the race as a blinking mess and ending the race with a Let's see the tires. Wrong options. Garage 3375. So I was putrid at saving my tires at the end. But uh, it was good enough, I guess. Hmm. All right, let's see uh, what happened. I'm not going to see much because it was fairly uneventful. But uh, looks like we got the four car touching the wall. And it looks like we've got the four car touching the wall. Deja vu. <laughs> Tried to say it exactly the same way again, too. Deja vu, but with a different number. Now we've got. He looks like he's blowing a tire or something. Maybe he's going real slow to stay out of the wall, and he's still going to do it, maybe. Nope. Um, 
Seven car. We got a caution at some point. So we'll see how that happened. But maybe that's what that was, is a guy blowing a tire. Or you know, just the incident's not working right. Not much happening. It's lap 23. Oh, is this the wreck? Yep, he bounces off. Nope, he saved it. So that was not the wreck. Who's this guy? What's this guy doing? Nothing? A whole lot of nothing? That's what I thought. We're already under caution, so what happened? What has happened? We're gonna have to go and re rewind, I guess, to see why there was a caution. So then we're watching these guys, everyone take tires. Um, so we're running at this point. So who is to blame? Is it? Okay, hello. We found him. So the guy's in the back. He's running the high line, and uh, six car just drifts up. That's on him, cause maybe uh, you know it's right around that time where he could have a blown tire, so maybe he's blown it and can't turn. So send seven car around. And that is our caution. And that's how that happened. And I think that's just about all we're going to see. Because now we're on lap 41 and we're going to watch this guy have a meeting with the wall maybe or get real close. On entry. Ooh, that was a good one on entry. Oh my god, this could have been a caution. That would have really shaken things up. Then we would have... Uh, found out who's good on a short run but uh, wow so he got sideways there but you'll notice the next closest car is a mile away so what are you doing he was trying to get a caution that's pretty scummy don't do that friends he's trying everything he can to get a caution because he Thinks he's gonna come win the race, and it's not working. Thank you, iRacing, for having standards. He's below the line, so I guess he's not understanding why it's not working. And then he quits, thankfully. So, not cool. Don't do that. Don't bring out cautions on purpose. It's against the sporting code. It ruins the races for other people. You know, the person that's in the front, you know, it got there because they saved their tires the best. Don't ruin it for them. Don't ruin what they've earned by being a better driver. You're better at saving the tires or doing whatever they needed to do. Okay, in ramp. So, and then we, <laughs> we got the last lap here. Wow, he got into the wall. So it wasn't the tire. That is so unfortunate. Look at that. Bounces off the wall. So why did he get fifth? So he must have blown the tire. Maybe that's why he hit the wall? He only had one incident. But he was given fifth. So I'm guessing he got the meatball flag right around here or so. Because he blew his tire. And so now he can't turn anymore. That's what happened. So it's both. It was both things. In my... Uh, that's my hypothesis so it didn't even matter that he finished ahead of us there because he gets the penalty for having a broken car that's just how i racing does it and so he's the last car in that lap and we are gifted second place so that's the story that's what happened and that's what it seems like anyway could be wrong but um that's the 87 at auto club that's how that went so uh, thanks for watching um, this uh, tire-saving race. Hope you have a good one.